Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So today we've got an interesting one. It's a new machine day and we're going to test this thing out. Now what's actually happening here is behind me is a the starts of a smoker. Um, customer started on it and realized he was in over his head and he brought it to me. Um, so we've been working on this slowly, um, got it up on the trailer and he had already cut the doors in it and put the stack on it, or I, we put the stack on it, sorry. And now we're gonna do the, 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 uh, the burn chamber, the, the firebox off the back end. It's an offset smoker. And this is what we're gonna use to actually make the, the firebox. So you're probably all wondering how you're gonna cut a 30 inch pipe. Well, that's where the new machine comes in. So let's head into the shop and take a look at that. So what we have here is a Mathy Deerman uh, pipe beveling machine. It's a mini jolly is what they call it. And it's a really nice machine. It's a, it's a chain drive. It uses a double 40 roller chain. And uh, you just hand crank it around. It travels around the pipe and runs the torch. Now the torch is a Victor machine torch. And you've got all kinds of adjustment with this thing. So up and down with the torch for what you need in and out. Um, it's a pretty nice unit. And I just I bought this a couple years ago knowing I would need it for, for a couple of jobs that... Uh, well, projects of my own. And uh, now I'm actually gonna put it into service for the first time. So let's get the, the chain set up and, and uh, get to work. So when I bought this thing, I got a really good deal on it. Um, I bought it new, no box, no instructions. And the best instructions I've found so far on the internet and they're not even for this exact model, say 105 inches of chain. So we're gonna mark it out at 105 and then we'll, we'll cut the chain and see how it goes. And if we need to add or take out, that's not a big deal. Chain, chain is easy to do. So all we're going to do here is take the grinder and just grind off the, the tips of this link here that I want to pop out and then I'll take a hammer and punch and drive that apart. All right, so I just got the unit balancing up here. I'm gonna wait until my brother gets here. He's actually helping me with this job because it's so big. Um, he is actually a certified welder in, in almost every way possible. He's got all of his weld certs. Um, he's worked for a couple of companies doing all kinds of structural and all that stuff. So this is a good job for him. Um, but I'll wait until he gets here and then we'll get this set up and uh, we'll get setting up on cutting. All right, so we got it all set up. We're just cranking it around to make sure it's true and tight. And this is my little brother, Matt. Um, so once we get her back into position, what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim this rough edge off. And this will be the backside where it'll butt up to that propane tank. And that's looking pretty good. Yeah, just bring it around till we're lined up about here. All right, so we got everything set up. We'll get the torch lit. take over. Looks like it's cutting good. A lot of slag though.
Still cutting good. There it is, first ever test cut with a bevel, and uh, I think we're very pleased with how it actually cut. Now we'll go ahead and measure out uh, 40 inches and move the thing over, and we'll make the second cut all the way around. So what we're doing here is we're just cranking it around to make sure everything clears and to help straighten the chain out. And then uh, we're going to start actually cutting up here and then come into this weld seam here. And we'll have to just take it nice and slow there just to make sure everything goes good. And we're cutting the bevel the opposite direction on this end because we want, we're going to butt a plate up to it and weld it. That should be good. Let's light the thing up. All right, we're getting close to this weld here and this sticks up a little bit, so we're gonna, I'm gonna back the torch out as Matt cranks and when he gets to it, and then uh, we'll just take it a little slower through that weld. Yep. 
going through it. Looking good. Looking real good. Yeah, we're gonna hold it up, Academy. Hold up. 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 there. There's like no slag on the piece we need. Yeah, that's a beautiful finish. Boy, I'm happy with that. That looks good. Only way you can get better is probably with the plast, but still. That looks absolutely beautiful. So we were all done with the other end, got our piece cut off, and, and that came out absolutely beautiful, lined up, everything was awesome. And just about to put the thing away, and my brother goes, hey, let's, let's trim up the other end so it's nice and true. And uh, so we set up the torch again at 90 degrees instead of the 45 or the 30 we were running. And uh, absolutely beautiful cut, lined up perfectly, cleaned this thing up beautiful. 
Um, and I was taking lots of good pictures there. One I'll use for the thumbnail. Got the drop. And uh, so I, get, I wanted to kind of fill you in on what we're using here. We're, we, I switched over to propane years ago. Um, I had lots of problems with Praxair, my local gas supplier, so I got away from as much as I could with them. Um, acetylene was the first thing to go. I switched over to propane and I've been just very happy with it. And so now I'm running, this was a number two tip. We could have got away with a zero on this end and a one on the other, but I just threw a two in there and we just ran with it, not a big deal. And uh, just beautiful cuts. So I hope you enjoyed that. Next week will be another new machine in the fab shop, something really cool, I hope you enjoy it. And until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.